Hello lovely people, it's Epiphany, and although it was close, you guys voted for Valentine's Outfit Inspo. So today, I will be showing you a few different Valentine's inspired ideas ranging from 10,000 diamonds to over a million diamonds. As always, make sure to watch until the end so you don't miss any of the outfits, and I also encourage you to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy! Alright, the first outfit can be made with only 10,000 diamonds, so this is for newer players who maybe don't have as many accessories. I used the cheapest Valentine's wings, which were only 1,000 diamonds, the cherry blossom sandals, which were 6.5 thousand, and finally, I used the mini skirt, which is 2,500 diamonds. Finally, I used the free outfits in the dress up catalog to match my wings. Now that the outfit is completed, I decide to change the hair because a lot of the hairstyles come with free accessories that are colorable. As you can see here, I used a hairstyle that came with a pink headband. Here's the final outfit that can be worn with only 10,000 diamonds. It's super cute and definitely gives off Valentine's vibes because the cute wings give off hearts. The next outfit uses items that are a little more expensive but are still under 50,000. This is probably for people who have played for a little longer or go to the trading hub because people tend to give these items away for very cheap and they are quite common. I started with the roses are red wings and then I wore the mini skirt. This is one of my favorite skirts because it picks up patterns super well. I eventually decided on a red pattern with pink, white, and gold details. After that, I equipped the Dear Dolly heels to toggle four. I once again used a pattern, this time was white lace on the stockings to give it a more romantic vibe. Next, I use the Winter Guardian corset because it has so many new toggles and people will sell this for like 10,000 or cheaper in the trading hub. After matching the corset to my outfit, I decided to look for some sleeves. I wore both the Royal Rebel ones because I like the realistic hands and the Valentina cuffs for some extra detail. Next, for a hair accessory, I chose the Valentine's bow that goes on the back of your head because it's super cute and always balances out an outfit. And as a finishing touch, I once again utilized the free accessories that come with the hair. And last but not least, I added the daisy earrings because this whole outfit kind of gives off floral vibes. Here's the final outfit. The items are pretty cheap if you can trade for them, but if not, they are definitely a bit more on the expensive side. This outfit is where we start getting a little more fancy. I started with the Serene Petals wings. While they're not Valentine's related, they are super pretty and have roses on them. Next, I put on the Dragon Train Rose skirt because the roses match the roses on the wings. After I finished coloring, I put on the Monchery Tea Party heels because they're super cute and they are kind of a Valentine's item. Next, for the torso, I put on both the Dear Dolly corset and the Opposite Attract skirt so that the pants weren't out. I equipped both the Dear Dolly gloves and the spring hair flowers before deciding to recolor the inside of the Dear Dolly corset for some added detail. Here's the final outfit, it is super cute and definitely gives us some nature fairy vibes and I absolutely love the detail in the Dear Dolly corset. Now if you want to look like a Valentine's goddess, I'd recommend paying attention. I started off with the love dragon wings, which are kind of rare because people really like them. And then I put on the summer fantasy skirt, toggle one. After coloring, I decided to wear the dear dolly heels and I changed the tights to skin tone so that it's kind of like an outfit hack. Next, I put on the opposite of the track corset because it already comes with super cute layered necklaces that have hearts in them. Next were the sleeves and I decided I want to be super fancy so I wore the royal rebel the Enchanted Heirloom, and the Cothalita Cuffs for a sleeve hack. Next for the hair, I went for a soft romantic style that had some flower details in it. Next I put on some heart earrings and finished the outfit off with a heart shaped bag. Here's the final outfit, gorgeous as always, super soft and romantic, but I could definitely shoot some arrows at people and make them fall in love. For the next outfit, I actually started with the skirt instead of the wings, and I went for the Whimsy Witch skirt, and I used toggle number 14. I once again decided to use patterns because the skirt has unique ruffles that look great with textures. Next, I decided to wear the Batmo heels because it has so many toggles that you can wear with any occasion, not just Halloween. 
for the corset, I matched the skirt with the Whimsy Witch corset, and I really like the pearl necklaces, so that was one of the reasons I picked it. After coloring the top section in lace, I decided to color the middle cincher with the same pattern I used for the skirt. Next, I put on the Montreux sleeves, and I really love them because they're romantic and add a really nice princessy touch to any outfit. After that, I once again put on the Gothelita cuffs and also wore the Song of the Lovebird Valentine's wings. Now for the hair accessories, we're getting a little bougie because I wore the Goddess of Triumph hair flowers, which are very expensive. Here is the final outfit. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for, the 1.5 million plus diamond outfit. Starting off strong with the same ones as last time, but with the Goddess of Triumph skirt. This is a limited set and costed Robux, so of course it is very rare. I love it because of the roses in the front and it really gives off a nice Valentine's vibe. I was trying to fix the colors of it and I had someone interrupt and decide to change the colors of the background, so here's that. After that, I put on the Goddess of Triumph heels, which are also very expensive. And to keep the rich lady vibes going, we also wore the Goddess of Triumph corset. For added detail, I layered the Whimsy Witch corset, but only the lace and gems. Next came the Goddess of Triumph sleeves, because the pearls are super fancy, as well as the Goddess of Triumph parasol, because that thing is like 800,000 diamonds in itself. Next, I changed my hairstyle to Aphrodite's ponytail, which also had floral details in it. And for even more roses, I put on the rare sleeves of roses from the wheel. To complete the outfit, I equipped the Valentine Celestial Flower Bouquet and changed it to the toggle where it's on your head. I recolored the flowers before finally adding a little bit more detail with some makeup. Here's the final super expensive outfit worth over a million diamonds. Those are all the outfits I have for you guys today. I made sure to create them with various price ranges so hopefully all of my fans can wear some. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to come back next weekend for more videos. As always, have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye!